All right, here we have uh, Project Geet. We're just starting on this, uh, starting to do the welding today. I've done a little bit of fabrication on this. Uh, it's a 12 horse, 350 cc uh, engine. I'm not sure who makes it. It says John Deere, but it's uh, import. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're taking uh, a three inch exhaust tube. We're going to run some one inch tubes through it. After we weld these together, what we'll have is we'll have two tubes going inside it with caps on the ends. And then we'll have the exhaust entering somewhere in the three inch tube and exiting somewhere in the three inch tube. We'll also have a small tap on the three inch tube to run to our bubbler. Now the bubbler, if I can reach here, the bubbler is a container that I made from an old navy electrical box. It's all brass, has uh, good mounts on the back of it. And what this will do is when we have the bubbler inside, which is just a three quarter inch tube pipe with the flare adapter to a two inch and a two inch cap that's been drilled all the way around the circumference at the bottom edge and all the way across the bottom. And what I did is I blew air through there to make sure that I had a good air flow and uh, air blows through fine with no obstruction. So what that's going to do is that's going to cause our bubbling effect inside of our bubbler. And the bubbler has, hold on just a second here. The bubbler has a new front made, which was just a solid piece of brass. But as you can see now, that solid piece of brass has been turned into a piece with a viewing window in. Now what I did is I drilled holes around the opening that I cut out. And then on the back side, you can see I made an aluminum plate with, with the same opening cut out and drilled the holes with all three pieces together. Then took the aluminum piece off, drilled out the holes in the front plate and the plastic, the quarter inch plastic, um, bigger so that I could drill through them without touching them and grip into the original holes that I drilled a smaller hole for the self-tapping screws and then I laid 5200 into the opening so now what we're left with is something like that now this will this will get drilled out and um, I'll have tubes coming in the top something like this well it'll be like this and those two will go one will go in through that bubbler the bubbler will um, make the vapor and then one of these will be just going through the top say about to you know, on the inside it would be about here and that will be our vapor collector which will go back to the carburetor through our three inch tube. That way we heat the we heat the air coming in and we heat the air going out to the carburetor after it's collected the vapors. Another thing we're gonna have on here is somewhere along the bottom edge Somewhere along the bottom edge, we're going to have. Sorry about that. Somewhere in here, on the other side of our bubbler, we're going to have a small 
um, level adjustment. Now I'm not sure if I'm going to go with this, just a solenoid yet or what, but we need to keep our fuel level just above the bottom of that device that I built. So that our bubbles and vapors will be up here, but no solid fuel will be able to get up through the exit tube. Because we don't want fuel in that exit tube, we just want vapors. So we'll have a, a level, a float level device in here, one type or another. And we'll also have another uh, tube coming in through the side, a quarter inch tube, which will be putting uh, exhaust vapors in here. Now that'll have a shutoff valve on it so that we can adjust the amount of exhaust vapors that we get in here. And the reason for that will be apparent later, but I'm hoping to be able to use this for more water uh, than fuel. So we'll see how that goes. But for right now, this is what we have. Um, uh, getting ready to uh, weld up the intake and exhaust pieces. What I did is I took the muffler off, you can see there. Uh, I'm planning on cutting that tube and welding these tubes onto that when I have that outer tube or muffler assembly made up and mounted. And then on the intake side, We still have our carburetor. As you can see, the carburetor slides on these two studs. Um, the carburetor is going to stay here so that we have our choke and we also have our throttle hooked up. Since this is a generator, it needs to be able to uh, use the uh, original governor in the engine to maintain that, that speed so that you have a constant output. Now this, I have already modified and put a, uh, a Chevy alternator on there. I'm not sure what it is, 60 amps probably. Um, and that, that Chevy alternator can be turned off and on right here. And the reason I did that is because I use this for testing my hydrogen devices. And that gives me an ideal platform for running 12 volt systems. Uh, I don't have my hydrogen devices here right now, but uh, or I'd show them to you, but either way you can always check at hydra-tech.net and we sell them there. Uh, you can see I made a new platform for the base uh, that sits on rubber mounts, so everything mounted to that metal will be on a vibration damper, so all of my parts that I make will be mounted to that metal plate. That way, uh, nothing moves, everything moves with the engine, but the frame itself doesn't vibrate much. It still vibrates. And over here we have, yeah, let me grab that. Now, there you can see the flange from the carburetor and this is a T. Now I relieved the edges of the T so that when I put this on there these washers will clear when I tighten this down on the engine. So what this is going to do is this is going to get welded just like that and this will be on the outside of the carburetor. The nuts will be right here holding the carburetor on tight and sealing everything up. Here I'm going to have a valve and here I'm going to have a valve. This valve will be controlling the vapors coming in and this valve will be controlling the fresh air coming in. Um, I may not need this valve, I don't know, but I'm going to have it there for a little bit more control on the mixture. Um, and those are the only two valves that I'm going to use just these two valves right here. Everything else, the plumbing throughout the system will be open. Uh, the exhaust side